<sighs> ESTG. I jumped out the Porsche with Dirty Glove Bastard. Country town, I heard Zip Savezzo went for 450. Brody say when I hell up, then I can hit the road with him. Even when I got. Right, we got ESTG off the porch with us today. Hey, what up? How you feeling today, bro? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, appreciate you coming by, man. Mm -hmm. Appreciate y'all having me. Yeah, you've been going up here the last few months, man. For sure. How been you working. enjoying being a rapper, man? Uh. I don't feel like I'm really a real rapper there, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? But it's getting there though, you know what I'm saying? Putting the work in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What have you been working on here in Atlanta this week? Uh, Just kind of tying up some loose ends I got with the project I got coming out. I don't feel nothing. It's uh, dropping at the end of this month. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped the lead single for Row Timmy. Hmm. So make sure y'all go get that. You know what I'm saying? It's me and Iceware Vessel, that's my man. You know what I'm saying? I just dropped that last night going crazy. Yeah. How often do you get out here to Atlanta to work? Uh, as often as I need to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in the process right now of being here permanently. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll be down here permanently real soon. Yeah. No, that's but what's up. That Atlanta definitely in like a, a, a second music home. You know what I'm saying? With, of course, big homes to my city, Louisville. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But Atlanta's turning into my second little Louisville. I'm starting to get real noticeable down mm -hmm. here. That's you a good thing saying? right there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So uh, yeah, talk to us about Louisville. What's life like out there right now? Uh, you with the short ass or the long answer? Give me the long answer. Right now, it's a whole lot going on, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure Louisville's just like everywhere else, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a hood everywhere, it's real niggas everywhere, and fake ass niggas everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing, and right now, you know what I'm saying, with my uh, recent success, I don't know if that's what you want to call it, it's just a lot of stuff that came with it that I wasn't really ready for, but I had to get ready for, you know what I'm saying? And that's just what's going on right now. It's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, who who, who used to support it, they ain't supporting it no more. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to that extent, you know what I'm saying? Which is why I'm gonna relocate, get some, you know what I'm saying, better vibes. But I always get love in the city. They gonna love me forever. I ain't never told on nobody, they know. No, you know what I'm saying? Lame shit or no fuck shit. I ain't put no black eye in the game, you know what I'm saying? So my face card is going to be good forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All over the city. Yeah. Yeah, you hear that a lot, you know, when an artist starts blowing up from, you know, a city, especially a city that's not really known for mm -hmm. having so many rap superstars. A lot of people start to hate and they hate to see you go away. They yeah. kind of want to see you there with them. Too. And I don't even think these people really just want to hate. It's just so, you know what I'm saying, unconscious for them to just, you know what I'm saying? Try to pick at it, you know what mm. I'm saying? But I ain't tripping. Make me, I don't got no skeletons in my closet. I don't got no flaw. Everything I say is what it is. It's law, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And of course, with law, you got to have justice, you know what I'm saying? So whatever's out of line, we're going to put it back in line. So it ain't too much of nothing. Yeah. And uh, Louisville's a very violent city. Were you exposed to that violence at a young age? Uh, I think whether you want to or not, if you from where I'm from, you know what I'm saying, the urban area, then you're going to be exposed to that, you know what I'm saying? But it is what you make it, and I ain't going to just sit up here and say, like, well, I guess it is. Yeah, niggas getting killed every day. But it's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it might not be somebody you know, but I definitely been, been affected by violence directly, yeah. you know what I'm saying, through my family, my friends, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, it is what you make it, you know what I'm saying? It's it's violence everywhere, but Louisville just happened to be one of them cities where it's a lot of violence yeah. and it's a small, you know what I'm saying, type of little town. Like Louisville ain't no tour city. Mm -hmm. Like don't know rappers got to come through Louisville. We don't got no professional football team or nothing like that, but it's still a big city, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it just so happened my city is where it's going down that we got the most like opiate overdoses the last like two years, oh, you know really? saying, number one, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So whereas users, it got to be dealers, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's just the, the the basis of my music is just telling my story, which ain't a story that's, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to make it seem like I'm El Chapo or nothing, but I ain't no corner boy or nothing like that neither, by yeah. no means, you know what I'm saying? So. If you familiar with me, then you you gonna see Louisville clearly through my music. That's what's going on, you know what I'm saying? From my perspective, not from any of the other artists that have been out in my city, you know what I'm saying? We got 
two or three or four, you know what I'm saying, other artists that's on a, you know what I'm saying, major platform right now. Mm -hmm. But it's a ton of artists like me, you know what I'm saying, who don't get that light. I'm just the first one in my type of genre of music that's really getting that big light put on them. So I just gotta make sure I do it the right way and tell our story the right way. You know what I'm saying? And they they been, you know what I'm saying, they, I done got their blessing. I got the streets blessing. They, you know what I'm saying, they want me to do it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, you had a scholarship to play football in college, is that right? Yes, I did. What college were you supposed to go to? Uh, Indiana State. Okay. Yeah. I went out there and we got new coaches, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't really work out, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just, I feel like when it comes to like decisions in my life, like, you know what I'm saying? Like the positive side of you, I want to go back and do it differently, but you know what I'm saying? I can't see my life working out no other way than what it did. You know what I'm saying? Like if I wouldn't have had that experience where I got to go to school for a little while, you know what I'm saying? And, and go to different states and meet different people, then I would never be what I am today. So mm -hmm. it was all part of God's plan for me to, you know what I'm saying, be good enough to get a scholarship and good enough to, you know what I'm saying, go to these places. And I'm an impressionable person, like people like to be around me. So when mm -hmm. I get to them places, you know what I'm saying, I'm somebody that they don't forget. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, and I, I, I don't, I don't. They didn't help me make a lot of, you know what I'm saying, good friends that I needed. You know what I'm saying for times like right now and in my past. So, you know what I'm saying, it was a good thing me getting to go to school and stuff like that. I yeah. wish I could have finished. Yeah, I think one day when this is all over, I hmm. might enroll back and see what I can do. Because you know? I'm smart for real. I just look like this. <laughs> you know, I'm smart though. How far, how far along in school did you get in college? I think I had like. 68 credits or something like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I did. I tried for, the, you know what I'm saying, for as long as I could, but you know what I'm saying, circumstance, just, you know what I'm saying, pull you back. Yeah. Being yourself, and you know, when you in school and trying to, you know what I'm saying, do that, you gotta be focused and you really, it take a, a nice support system, you know what I'm saying? And, my people, you know what I'm saying? My daddy ain't never went to college. My mom, none of my family went to college, so nobody really knew what to expect. And the good thing for me is that it was free because I had a scholarship, yeah. so they really ain't have to know nothing at all. It was just, how right, you go, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it all worked out the way it was supposed to work out. You know what I'm saying? I don't regret none of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got to experience it. Yeah. And at one point you caught a trafficking charge. You were facing 10 years in prison? Uh, Yep, Uh, 2000. And 16 or 17. Oh, okay. I got caught with uh like 12 pounds. And you know what I'm saying? But the case and all that's behind me, you know what I'm saying? I'm on diversion, mm -hmm. felony diversion, probation basically. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I got like three more years left on that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't tell them nobody. Pay your lawyer. When the lawyers is going to work, they go, to, they go to school for that shit. You know what I'm saying? You'll be <laughs> all right. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got caught with 12 pounds, like 8,500. You know what I'm saying? It was just my day. You know what I'm saying? I was moving and grooving. I should have been gone, but I didn't. I'm trying to be greedy and get them extras and it bit me in my ass. You know what I'm saying? But that's you know, all that's behind me now. Though. We ain't catching no more trafficking charges. We smarter. That needed to happen too. You feel me? Because if it didn't, they could have caught me with a hundred of them motherfuckers. That's you know what I'm saying? So. You know, so I'm glad it happened the way it did. Well, I'm not glad, but it worked out well. You know what I'm saying? I probably would have never start thinking about rapping if I never got caught like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I didn't, I, I didn't never want to be no rapper. It's never my dream and then to be no rapper and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But turns out I can rap. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got something to talk about in this for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it works out. Yeah. Talk to us about this incident last year where uh, you were shot five times. Uh, that was about six months ago, actually, September. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I was uh, doing a video shoot with uh, Sada Baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we were just finishing up the video shoot. And I don't know, like, left the video shoot, got shot. Hmm. In your car? Yep. Yep, yep. Got shot five times. My people was with me. My brother was with me. Got shot in his leg. I got shot in my stomach mm -hmm. four times. And I got shot in my, my face and my left eye. Sure. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the bullet ain't go all the way through. I think it ricocheted off something and then went in my eye. Oh, damn. So they, I had to get like a complete like uh, lens transplant. You know what I'm saying? I had a brand, got an artificial lens right now. 
You know what I'm saying? And I had like a burst bulb or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But they bought me back. You know, medicine. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Modern medicine's a motherfucker. Did you fear for your life? Like that you may die after you got shot? I didn't feel that. I was like, for real. Like I was thinking when I got shot, I was like, I'm not no real emotional person or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But I just had a son. Hmm. So I was like, Immediately in that moment, I was thinking about like, damn, that ain't fair. Like my son, classic nigga shit. Like they get to grow, they gon' they gonna grow without no. Because I thought I was right there, mm-hmm. so I'm like, damn, my son gonna have to grow up without no daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I was thinking about shit like that. Then I was thinking like, I don't know if people know, but like car shootings, usually you try to you know what I'm saying, flip the car. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no going to no hospital nothing like that. Mm-hmm. And we was in the Hellcat. So luckily, you know what I'm saying, we was able to get away before anything like that to happen. But actually, when I got shot, like after the first bullet, boom, hit my stomach. And I won't say that second one, I felt that second one. And after that, I didn't feel nothing else. I was just zoned out. Sure. And then, you know what I'm saying, I started feeling the blood on my face and shit. And I opened the door, actually. I opened the door and I was like, uh, damn, should I jump out like on the highway just so my funeral ain't no closed casket, you feel me? like. I want him to be able to see me one last time. I don't want it, this motherfucker to blow up and, you know what I'm saying, it be closed casting in my funeral. I was thinking like that. I wasn't thinking like, no, oh, no, I'm scared for my life. I'm scared of that. I wasn't thinking like that because mm-hmm. I feel like I done done a whole lot of stuff in my life. So if that was my time, then, you know what I'm saying, I was at peace with that. I was thinking like, damn, I hope God ain't no, 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 no jerk shit. I hope he understand like, mm-hmm. You feel me? Decisions and nigga had to made and what bought me right here. I hope he ain't on no shit like, nah, I ain't fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Get away from here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was thinking. I wasn't scared of nothing though. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get to the, I got to the hospital. My brother got me to the hospital. 2.5 seconds. I don't know how oh, we shit. got there so fast. You know what I'm saying? And he was kind of like keeping me woke and shit, even though he had got shot in his leg. Yeah. He was keeping me woke the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I told him like, bro, I'm finna die. He like, nah, you not. Hmm. No, you ain't just keep talking to me. I'm like, I can't breathe. He's like, bitch, you talking, bitch, you can't breathe, bitch, you talking. I'm like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? But everything was straight. Yeah. Got me to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? I was in there for like two weeks. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boom, got out right back to it. Yeah. And all the business got handled. Hmm. So that was it, just two week recovery time? Nah, hell no, nah, that wasn't it. But I was in the hospital for two weeks. Okay. After okay. I got out the hospital, you know what I'm saying? I had to do shit for my eye. Like I had two eye surgeries after that over the last like four months. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So from September to like December, mm-hmm. I had like constant surgeries on my eye to restore my vision. You know what I'm saying? Just to make my eyelid even be able to open because it was so like, you know what I'm saying? Like swollen and, oh, wow. and damaged that it couldn't even open. I had to have a patch on. I was worried about having a patch on and shit. Like the shit I wasn't, I didn't even give a fuck about seeing. I just didn't want that damn patch on my face. I wasn't trying to go that route with it. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just had like constant little surgeries and shit. I had to get the staples out of my stomach. I had like 50 staples in my stomach. Oh, sure. You know what I'm saying? And I had where the, um, where the first bullet that hit, it was kind of like a big wound. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all probably. You know I saw it on your IG. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's a big wound on the side because it was a big bullet. You know what I'm saying? So I had to have that bandaged and taken care of. It was a long process, but I was dropping music, luckily, that I had already had previously shot, yeah. you know what I'm saying, during that little period of time while I was recovering. So, you know what I'm saying, it was cool, you know what I'm saying, like I ain't have to scramble like, damn, I gotta make some more music, like, you know what I'm saying, it was cool, I got to sit back and kind of put my shit out and get myself, to, you know what I'm saying, back to where I can be out here walking around and shit again. Yeah. Is your vision completely healed now? Is it as good as it was before or? Uh, it's good enough. Good enough. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't what it was, but, yeah. I could see a little bit, you know what I'm saying, through my left eye. Well, at first, when I first, you know what I'm saying, woke up in the hospital, it was nothing. Oh, sure. Like they tried to take the patch off, I could barely even open that bit, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But it's, 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 it's all right now, I can see a little bit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? If you fire to the left, you better talk loud, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Cause I ain't gonna be able to see you for real, but everything's straight though, it all worked out, you know what I'm saying? It was a blessing, like, that needed to happen too. Like I done said, a lot of shit that needed to happen with these mm-hmm. previous questions, that needed to happen too. You know what I'm saying? Just for me to know, like, you can't trust people no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Because if you fall out with a nigga, that might be what all they was looking for was one fallout. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? One fallout, and they can go ahead and, 
you know what I'm saying, push you to the max on how they really feel about you. If they really been hating the whole time or they really been not feeling you the whole time, but they just ain't have a real reason because they know they was on some lame hating shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They need one small fallout and they can just stage a big one. But I'm cool with that though. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the business got handled. You know what I'm saying? Everything is straight. Everything straight. Yeah. I'm straight. The situation straight. We good. Yeah. Only but, thing that was fucked up was the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, blessed though. Yeah, uh, blessed sure. to be able to sit right here and tell you about it, you know? For sure. Yeah. For sure. It's yeah. definitely a blessing. That's how I know all the shit I'm doing can't be for nothing because I feel like that could have been the end of the story and it still would have been legendary. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was leaving my hood, getting on the highway. You feel me? That's, that's, I mean, it sounds stupid, but just thinking how, I'm, how I be thinking or how people like me think like, you know what I'm saying? I was going to go out leaving the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That's legendary. Nipsey got killed in front of his store. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like It sounds stupid, but I was at peace with it at that moment. I wasn't hmm. nervous or scared or nothing. Like I was cool with the story. Like If I if I would have died right then and there, I still would have been the, the biggest street rapper, or reality, street music, whatever, to come out of Louisville, you know what I'm saying, surround the areas. So, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't have done nothing but magnify me even more, but it wasn't time. I got to do more. I got, to, got more people to shit on, I guess. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't over. It wasn't over for me. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, your mother passed away recently, right? Yeah. My, uh, my mama, she had leukemia. Hmm. And that was uh, actually like last week or two. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, she passed. You know what I'm saying? And that was hard because my mom was really like, like I ain't never had, I don't got no, 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 like, I never had no real, like, I don't wanna say real support, but like direct support from outside people mm. or people who believed in what I wanted to do, you know what I'm saying? Like my daddy, you know what I'm saying? My daddy's streaming. Mm. So of course he don't want that from, from the son. So when I get into the shit I've been getting into, you know what I'm saying? It's hard for, you know what I'm saying, your father to be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I can, I don't know, it's hard to describe. Like, your daddy don't want to give you no dough. You don't want to give your son no dough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to ask your daddy for no dough. You know what I'm saying? But it was getting to a point to where it was, you know what I'm saying, it, was, it wasn't ignorable. You know what I'm saying? My mama was always the person who kind of understood, like, you know what I'm saying? She was empathetic. That's where I get my empathy from. Like, I understand people, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Them being in certain situations and have to react a certain way when people's vulnerable or they scared. I understand that, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's not like me or you, you know what I'm saying? People feel differently about different shit and I get that from my mom. So with her past, you know what I'm saying? It was just hard. It's, it's still hard right now because it's fresh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to do what I think she will want me to do, which is, you know what I'm saying? Take care of my family and I do that. You know what I'm saying? Be a man first, that's all that matters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be a man, take care of your family. Everybody don't take care of their family. Like niggas be street niggas, but they be lame. Like they can't even bury themselves or, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, bury their friends if something happened. Yeah. Or they never bought their mama nothing or took her nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So I know that she was happy with the man that I became. You know what I'm saying? And I know it was struggles our whole life. You know what I'm saying? Like wasn't nothing easy for us. So only thing that I regret about her passing is really, um, like I ain't really get to, put my mom in no mansion. Like, I did nigga shit for my mom. Like, go out of town. Like, I bought my mom a Rolex. Like, she didn't give a fuck about that watch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that didn't matter. I wish I would've done more shit with her that mattered. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was hard. My mom passed. Yeah. Still is. And then a week later, your brother passed away? Yeah, that was actually uh, this past week. Oh, shit. This past week, he got shot seven times. Back home in Louisville? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. How do you keep pushing? How are you here right now, like, talking to us? And, you know, yeah, I mean, staying focused on, you know, the main goal of all that? Because the, the alternative to what I'm doing, I never get to talk to you. I never get to tell nobody my story right there. You know what I'm saying? That's the alternative. Everybody knows that. I'm sure you know without me having to say it. Everybody knows the alternative, what else I could be doing, you know what I'm saying? Or what should be doing, or what is 
going to be done. You know what I'm saying? But I got to stay focused a little bit because the main thing is still the main thing. You know what I'm saying? I start rapping and people like it. You know what I'm saying? I got a nice following to where um, I'll be doing them a disservice, people that believed in me. You know what I'm saying? Jigga, he was like the first person that ever like was like, nah, put that down. We about to, like, you, you got them songs. Like, them songs is good. Like, you finna rap. Like, you finna, you know what I'm saying? So I'll be, you know what I'm saying, doing him a disservice by being like, man, fuck this shit. I'm ready. Do what I know how to do. Like, do what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to keep going with this just to honor, you know what I'm saying, what, what he's seen in me. You know what I'm saying? Without even really knowing like shit about music or nothing, he just felt like, man, this shit's good. Like, I don't know. He ain't no, no A and I, nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't, he's a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? But he was like, this shit's good. Like, you need to do this. So I'd be disrespecting him if I didn't keep going, you know what I'm saying, as much as I could. You know what I'm saying? I know what he would want me to do. And I know what my mom would want me to do. She just want me to be happy. And for a long time, I didn't know what made me happy. And I'm still kind of unsure, you know what I'm saying? I know my baby and shit like that, but like as far as like hobbies and shit like that, I ain't really like a hobby type of person. So when I start making music and I feel like that was a way to express myself, I know that made her happy, regardless of what I was saying, if she liked it or not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I know that she'll be happy with me being happy, and this is what I feel like is making me happy right now, you know what I'm saying? And it's honoring, you know what I'm saying, my late people, so I got to keep going, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, people be like, man, that's you being strong. I don't really feel like it's a thing of strength or nothing like that, because I definitely have my moments. I just do it in private. Like, people want public sympathy from people. It don't even be that they sad or, or they feel some type of way about what happened. It just be like, they just want the attention. And I don't want no sympathy from nobody, you know what I'm saying? I just want to go through my mourning process and keep on making my music, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna mourn how I mourn, but it ain't gonna be for everybody to see. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's, I don't wanna say it's fake, but it's just not how I do shit. Yeah. That's real right there. That's real. So, um, what's the music scene like in Louisville right now? Uh, right now, I am kind of the music scene in Louisville, like for my people. Like, we got um, other artists that's big, like Jack Harlow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's like a different type of music than what I'm making. We done made shit together. Like, that's my man, Jack. You know what I'm saying? And then we got people like Bryson Tilly, he's an R&B singer, though. Yeah. Um, rapper 2K, baby. He's like a, you know what I'm saying? More like a melodic type of, you know what I'm saying? So people that are just rapping like how I'm rapping, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and talking about what I'm talking about. I'm really like that wave right now, like, you know what I'm saying? So the music scene in Louisville is whatever I make it to be, you know what I'm saying? Like the people grasp to me because I am feel like something that they can relate to directly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna really rap about falling in love and shit like that, and you know what I'm saying? Like I rap about what happened yesterday yeah. and people who still, you know what I'm saying, in the mix and know what's going on, they don't, even if they don't like me, they don't got no choice but to listen to that shit because it's like, damn, what did he say? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even the ops, the ops is gonna listen to be like, damn, you hear know what he said about us? Damn, that's crazy. Well, we all bitches. <laughs> Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, if people got to listen to my shit. I got the wave right now where yeah. we at. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like, like you mentioned, Jack Harlow and 2K Baby and yourself, that you guys all support each other too. Yeah, for sure. I don't really, uh, I don't really know 2K like that, but I done had some conversations with him. You know what I'm yeah. saying? He's a little younger than me. I'm 25. I think he's like 20 or something like that. Yeah, like he 10. lives out here in Atlanta. Too. 19, yeah, he lived down here in LA, but yeah, hell yeah, yeah, I support that shit. They trying to do something, you know yeah. what I'm saying? They trying to do something with themselves. Jax, you know what I'm saying? He got the best song in the in the country right now, <laughs> the hottest song in the country right now, you know what I'm saying? And 2K, he's, he work, he's working like every month. He's coming with something brand new, a whole new flavor. And I like the way he do his rollouts for his shit. And you know what I'm saying? He really don't pay attention to what people got to say about him or how they feel about him. He's just working. You know what I'm saying? That's what I admire about him. And what I admire about Jack is that he's himself no matter who don't like it. Like hmm. he say off the wall shit, but he don't care. Like he just being himself. You know what I'm saying? And he's still a, 
uh, the, the baddest bitch is still gonna want him. You know what I'm saying? He still gonna, he don't gotta have no chain on and no two watches and he still gonna move the way everybody else is moving. You know what I'm saying? Just off his charisma. So they definitely support each other. And I think they support my music. They like it, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So it's cool. We ain't stepping on each other's toes or even trying to do it. We trying to elevate the music scene in our city because we got a lot of good rappers that just can't get that light on them. So yeah. I know once I get through the door with my type of music, it's gonna open up the floodgates for a lot of people that's good, you know what I'm saying, that need to be heard. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, I heard that the police don't want you to do any more shows in your city? Man, they had uh, they had actually called down here to uh, Jack's management, man, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. It was like, Cause he brought you out at a show, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, right after I got shot. Hmm. And I think that probably had something to do with it. They was like, man, we, I need to, Jack don't need to be around G, you know what I'm saying? He's, woo, woo, the police woo, is woo, 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 woo. <laughs> For sure, the LMPD. Hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, We I did a show uh, with him at the uh, Palestine Hall, I think it's called, in Louisville, and it was like a real big show. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? I had to follow the protocol when I got there, like wasn't no leaving and nothing like that, and it was a success, you know what hmm. I'm saying? So I think they gonna let me do some shows, but it's just gotta be, everything gotta be proper, and, and, and I just pray don't nobody get hurt like yeah. coming out to my shows and stuff like that, cause I got a big following in Louisville. So if I say I'm having a show, it's gonna, you know what I'm saying, be a packed venue, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So when that happens, like I just pray don't nobody get hurt or, no, nothing happened to nobody and they had to fall back on on EST on us. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the police also took your jewelry? Is that when you got shot? No, that wasn't when I got shot. When they took my jewelry, they, uh, something had happened and, and I had had my stuff. My stuff was on the scene when it happened hmm. and they took it. I didn't get it back. I still ain't got it back. But I ain't tripping, I got all new shit. Man. Yeah, so you yeah, bounced right back. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Good, you know what I'm saying? I do good on streams. <laughs> I do good on streams, man, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah, they took it. They holding it for evidence? Is that what it is? Is that what they're telling you? I ain't asking no questions. I don't know what they, that's theirs. That's, hmm. they, that's they shit now, I don't know. Matter See. of fact, they ain't even take it. I gave it to them and you know what I'm saying? They keeping it for whatever they need it for. I don't know. <laughs> that's theirs, I don't want it back. That's crazy right there. That's they can crazy. do what the police can do whatever they want though. That's why people be treating the police like that, like, cause they really like, for lack of better terms, they like bullies, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever seen a motherfucker in school just take somebody's lunch and, get, and they can't get it back. That's what the police is. If they say, no, nah, you ain't supposed to have that here, mm -hmm. then it's theirs. Like police take money from motherfuckers and everything. Like I ain't, like it shouldn't be no, reason that you can't ride around with your money and yeah. they pull up on you feel like and look at you and be like man you ain't supposed to have that money hmm. then you got to claim it and tell them how you got it somebody might have gave that shit to you you might got a rich uncle or something you, yeah. you know what i'm saying like police is a motherfucker i don't want no problems though yeah you know what i'm saying i mean you're a rapper this is a cash business most of the time too you know for you show, get paid people, in cash for shows and yeah, for people, a lot of features and yeah, stuff like that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, but they don't understand that. Especially they ain't trying to hear no rap, nothing. They not trying to hear that. <laughs> rap, rapper. They be damn if they kids listening to Ro Timmy right now. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? But that's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I hope they like it out. You know what I'm saying? I hope they don't target me because of that, but I understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And I move accordingly. All right, let's talk about some of these videos. You got a couple that hit 100,000 recently. Uh, let's start with the Sada Baby, Talk Different. Yeah, that's almost at 500,000 actually. Yeah, it's creeping Over up the on the last it. two months, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how I got that, Sada had came and did a show in my neighborhood at, at this club in our neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Called the E Lounge, the Essence Lounge. And uh, I was on that show too, so before mm -hmm. like he went, a matter of fact, I wasn't on the show. I was breaking my song, Morals. Okay. Morals video was dropping the next day. And you know what I'm saying? I was finishing up stuff from the video. You know what I'm saying? That's what you can see if you go watch the Morals video. That was in the E-Lounge. That's when Sada Baby was there. Okay. And we were just in there going crazy. I think we they had like some little dances and stuff. And then we threw mm. like 20,000. This is at home. This ain't in Miami, you know, live or nothing mm. like that. We gave that back to the community. You hear me? Mm. 
And I think Shada Baby was just feeling my speed and that. He was feeling the song. So the next day, uh, his people had reached out to us and, you know what I'm saying, we, we got the business handled and we did the song. You know what I'm saying? And it was a success. Like I said, it's almost at 500,000 right now. And this is with no pub, no major, you know what I'm saying, push or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? And plus, it ain't like it's the only video he dropped. He damn near dropped a video every two yeah. weeks. <laughs> you feel me? So. I like to feel like that it's partially me and partially him, of course, because mm -hmm. he got a large fan base, but I like to feel like I got a little something to do with those numbers. You know, oh, yeah. Talk different, bang, and go watch it if you ain't watched it. Yeah. And then you linked up with uh, I Swear and Payroll mm -hmm. um, on the floor. Mm -hmm. This one's almost at half a million too. Yep, but that's it about a bunch. That's at half a million. Um, how that happened, that was just like, uh, I knew somebody who knew both of them, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And I know they never had done no song with each other before. Really? Actually, I didn't know, but huh. they had told me when I got there, like, you know what I'm saying? They had never done a song with each other. Hmm. And I know that neither one of them never heard none of my music before I did it with them, you know what I'm saying? So I was just trying to showcase, you know what I'm saying, what I can do and you know what I'm saying? Everything was still kind of fresh when I recorded it. I think that was December when we did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I had just got the eye patch off type shit. You oh, know what shit. I'm saying? So I had to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? And that, I'm glad I did go hard like that. You know what I'm saying? I, they didn't know like how my process was in the studio. Mm -hmm. Like it don't take me long to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? 20, 30 minutes, I'm going to figure it out. Like we both heard the beat together. Like I pulled the beat up like, y'all like this one? Okay, Vezo went in and did his verse, and while he's doing his, I got mine ready, went right in and did mine. And then when he heard it, he was like, damn, you got another song? I'm going to get on another one for you, you know what I'm saying? And that's the, the one that just recently I dropped, you know what I'm saying, the other day. But Payroll, yeah, he came in right behind me, you know what I'm saying? So he got to hear both of us, yeah. and he went in there and did his, you know what I'm saying, cleaned it up for us. And that was big for Detroit, like I said, because I don't think they never did a song with each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then they, they Detroit, the Detroit audience got to see what ESTG's talking about. And I don't mm. think I disappointed. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they was feeling it. Yeah. You a big fan of Detroit rappers? Uh, Vezo and Payroll, for sure. Sada, yeah. baby. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I, I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I think uh, Louisville is a real impressionable city because we don't have like a that type of music, like street music. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the younger crowd and you know what I'm saying? People my age, we listen to people that's close by, you know what I'm saying? So Detroit ain't that far from Louisville. Okay. So we catch all of they artists that's that they logo artists that y'all don't know nothing about. Like they the Louisville people know about them because we feel like, okay, that's our market too. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's important be, for me to do what I'm doing because I'm giving I'm making it cool to be from Louisville. Like yeah. a motherfucker be like, man, what we got. Woo, 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 and then we go, we got G, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Oh, G, you know what I'm saying? And then they can show him, like, okay, this is what G's doing. He's serious. Hmm. Plus, he don't dress like no cornball, you know what I'm saying? He, he putting that shit on and he make it look good. Like, yeah. we get money down there too. Like, we got cars and shit down there too, jewelry and all that, you know what I'm saying? Fly shit that big cities feel like they got, like, we doing the same thing, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's so important that I make it, you know what I'm saying? And not make it to where. I don't look at making it, getting a million views on my video. You know what I'm saying? Making is the word. Everybody know, like, when you talk about Louisville, you got to say G. Like, when you talk about the Midwest or Mid-South, however you want to, you know what I'm saying, group us in the demographic, you just got to say G. Like, his impression was so big over his area that is, you know what I'm saying, it's undeniable. Anybody coming after me is going to have some type of me in they sound, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I don't think I sound like nobody, so it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All these songs, these gonna be on the new project? I don't feel nothing. Mm. We still talking about that there, but as of right now, they, I think we just gonna go in a totally different direction for the project. Okay. But the song Ro Timmy's gonna be on there for sure. But okay. I don't know. The other singles, we probably put them on there just from a number standpoint, yeah. the sales standpoint. They did so good. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It would be, it ain't gonna hurt nothing to put them on there. Yeah. But I got a fresh batch of songs from I don't feel nothing. And I still don't feel nothing. It's ready to. That's the, you know what I'm saying? The follow up oh, to this, this EP. Hmm. And that's already ready in the chamber. So 
You know what I'm saying? We we moving like I'm 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 working. I'm dead serious about this. Like I'm not playing around at all. Yeah. And I'm independent. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Label directing this or got their hands on it. Like I'm signing the EST. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? With just me and my close group of friends, company. Like this is our thing. Like it's not no no outside influence. You know what I'm saying? This this is us. You know what I'm saying? Period. Everybody shine together. And that's what's going on. Yeah. I wish they can get in the camera so you can see. I'm not the only <laughs> one with a chain and shit like that. Yeah. Everybody look good. I'm just the only rapper, you know what I'm saying, right now. Do you look to sign rappers in the future? I got buddies that rap, you know what I'm saying? Marty Music, he's a rapper. <laughs> Santana Rich, he's a rapper. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make some of my other partners rap, but we got everything we need right here. We got graphic designers. Hmm. Other artists, we got, you know what I'm saying, people who just want to be behind the scenes and get their input. We got people who want to do artist development and management, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a real company, you know what I'm saying? It's just, in the be it, I don't even want to say the beginning stages, it's just not globally recognized, you know what I'm saying, as it will be. But I'm building the equity in my company, like I'm trying to have a real company. You know what I'm saying? That can be sold or bought into one yeah. day. You know what I'm saying? Like the Rockefeller approach. Mm. Like I don't want to be, and not taking anything from whoever I'm like, I don't want to be like uh, 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 Boosie, you know what I'm saying? Even though we love Boosie, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be like Jay-Z, you mm. know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be like, like Boosie, you, everybody gonna know Boosie in, you know what I'm saying, in the States or, you know what I'm saying, in the South, like Boosie the King in the South. But Jay-Z is just like, you can go anywhere in the world and even if they never listen to no, no, not a song, you know what I'm saying, they just gonna know the entity of yeah. Jay-Z. They gonna know that he's, you know what I'm saying, who he is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what I'm going for. I'm trying to be like, uh, you know what I'm saying, a global entity, I ain't trying to be like, no, you know what I'm saying? Just famous in America, famous in Louisville. I'm not just trying to be just famous at all. I'm trying to be rich and influential. Yeah. You're on your way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. Um, so how many kids do you have now? Just the one? Just one. Well, I got five nephews that okay. I, you know what I'm saying? Help support too. So I'm spending six, <laughs> but really one that's mine. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I got five nephews too. Who, you know what I'm saying? What is being a father? Oh, my bad. No, go ahead, go ahead. What is being a father taught you about life? It just gave me something to live for. Like, I feel like uh, if you feel like, if you, if you just, a lot of people don't got shit to live for, or shit that they, you know what I'm saying, like, can go back home to, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you got a girl, like that ain't that ain't the same as having like a baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the baby is completely dependable on its parents, you know what I'm saying, who take care of it. And that means something to me because I feel like a lot of times I might have needed something from somebody that I couldn't get, even though they might have been trying as hard as they could. It just was something that I was missing. So I don't want my son to ever feel like it's something that he's missing and he gotta go to the streets to get it, mm. or he gotta go to another man to get it or somebody can, you know what I'm saying, influence my son to be something other than, you know what I'm saying, what I'm trying to put in him. Like, I'm gonna be there for him until I can't be there for him no more. Then I'm still gonna be there for him cause, because of the plans that I done set in place for him to be okay whenever it's, whenever it is over, you know what I'm saying? So that mean everything to me, it just, like something that I do, I might be slower to do it because I know I might not get back home to him if I do this, you know what I'm saying, or I might not. I might not even still be rapping if I ain't have him, like for sure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that was definitely a blessing. Yeah, that was real. IG, any last words, any shout outs? Uh, mm, shout out, shout out to my whole team, everybody shining together, of course. You know what I'm saying? Forever rolling, best beats around. When y'all go get y'all forever rolling, be all my shit, be produced forever rolling. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody that support me, man. Appreciate Dirty Glove for. Let me come, you know what I'm saying? Sit on the porch. I let y'all. Country town, I heard Zip Savezzo went for 450. Brody say when I hell up, then I can hit the road with him. Even when I got shot, doctors couldn't find no hole in me. It's powerful 